Hi guys, okay, so today I'm gonna talk to you about UTIs because that's something that's very near and dear to my heart because it's something I suffered with for really ferociously, I would say, for about two years. <clears throat> but I don't have them anymore and I want to help you not have them anymore because I'm sure if you're watching this, you have one right now. I bet that's 90% of you or the other 10% are people, women that have had them and are terrified of getting another one, terrified. Terrified of getting another one. So I'm here to tell you how I got rid of my UTI. It feels like you are peeing fire, if that makes sense. And I know it makes sense. It feels like you're peeing fire, glass, hot sauce, like you're trying to perform an exorcism to get this little demon out of you, but you have to pee him out and he's latching on and like clawing the whole way. So there's about a two year period, two year period in my 20s, about two years ago, a two year period, two years ago, when I had UTIs almost every month, every couple weeks, they, they were just awful. And I just remember being like miserable and depressed and just like feeling very hopeless about it, which sounds weird if you've never had a UTI, but if you've had a UTI, you know the hopelessness. Like they're just so awful, they're so painful, they're so like, just uncomfortable to talk about to people um, and so I try everything under the sun I read almost every forum board out there trying to find a solution trying to fix my UTIs so I didn't get them anymore because they were just absolutely miserable and it all kind of culminated culminated into a month-long road trip that I went on and so leading up to the road trip I got a UTI but then the symptoms kind of went away so I thought that it went away by itself because um, if you get UTIs, you know that sometimes you will get a full-fledged UTI or sometimes you'll kind of like, you can feel you're starting to get one, but then you like drink a lot of water and cranberry juice and it'll, it will go away. And so that's kind of what happened for me. So I thought, great, like it's gone away, I'll be good. But about a week into the road trip, it popped back up and I'm camping at this point. So I ended up, I ended up going to the ER at three o'clock in the morning in California um, because I couldn't sleep and I like barely could walk without being, I couldn't walk without being in pain and I couldn't sleep because I was tossing and turning because it hurt so bad and it hurt really bad in my lower back and so I thought that maybe it was my appendix or something like I didn't even think to link it to the UTI that I had had. Um, I just thought it was my appendix. I thought it was something serious so I went to the ER and it was something serious. My UTI had traveled up into my kidneys and I had, so I had a kidney infection now, and that's very dangerous because your kidneys are very important and you only have two of them. And so I had to get a straight shot of antibiotics into my butt cheek, and that was the first time I'd ever gotten a shot in my butt. And it wasn't that bad, but it helped straight away, and then I got prescribed, you know, a, a round of antibiotics, and that helped clear it, clear it up. But I still struggled with it. I mean, it would come back every couple weeks, even after I got done with my antibiotics. And I would always finish out my round of antibiotics, like down to the last pill, because I knew not to mess around with that. Um, and I just remember just being miserable, not having any fun, and just feeling hopeless, and searching forum boards. And I can't remember where it was that I found the first little piece of information linking UTIs and hormonal birth control. But for some reason, it clicked and it made sense to me. And so I started doing more research into the negative side effects of hormonal birth control. And specifically, I was on the pill orthotricycline. And things started popping up and it all kind of started making sense in a way that I was suffering from things that I thought were just normal, but they weren't. And you know, depression, anxiety, UTIs. So it all kind of started popping up and clicking together and it made sense. Um, but at the time I was in a relationship and therefore I thought that I couldn't go off of birth control because that would be irresponsible. But the time, like that relationship ended in the perfect window and I thought, right, this is my chance. I'm getting off of birth control. And if you've seen my why I don't take birth control story anymore, then you kind of, you know that story. But, Around the same time that I went off um, birth control, I had become a vegan, which I think also plays a factor in it because I was just he eating very healthy at that time. Like, I, looking back now, I've realized that I have had zero, zero UTIs since that 
since going off of hormonal birth control and since going vegan. I think most of the blame is to put on the pill, but I think also that my, my change in diet didn't hurt it at all. So after I went off the pill, I haven't had any UTI since, and I forget about it sometimes, honestly, but little things, like I'll see an article about UTIs, or something will pop up to make me think of it, and I'll just like, I am so thankful that I don't have those anymore. But then it kind of got me thinking, you know what, Victoria, like, this isn't something that's very well known. You should share it with people because if you're in the position I was in, you want the solution. And this was a solution for me. And I'm not saying that this is a solution for everyone. I'm not saying that birth control causes everyone to have UTIs, obviously. It's just something that is a factor in the many factors of things that make us sick, you know? So I tried everything under the sun. And the only thing that has been like an actual cure for me is going off of the pill. And you don't read about that on any of the forums. Like it will, people will kind of mention it, but then people are like, some say, you know, UTIs are linked to birth control, but most people tell you, no, that's not true. But for me, it was very true. And that was what was making me so sick in so many different ways. Um, and so I try to go online and find some, you know, like physical, actual, scientific evidence to give you guys so you could think I was not just like a crap pot. Um, but it was really, really hard to find it out there. Like no one talks about it. No one, it's really hard to find the negative side effects of birth control and they're starting to finally pop up. Estrogen is a very important thing to a female's body because estrogen is a hormone that keeps vaginal tissue healthy. It helps with natural lubrication, the tissue elasticity, and the acidity of your vagina. And so when your estrogen levels drop, it throws off the balance of this, promoting you know dryness, tearing, abrasion, and when you have damaged tissue, that invites infection in, and that's where UTIs come from. So women who take birth control see high chronic levels of UTIs and yeast infections. When there's high levels of that enzyme prostaglobin E2, that irritates and inflames the vaginal canal, the cervix, and the urethra. And this promotes UTIs. For women who, it, there is a link between their birth control pills and their chronic UTIs, antibiotics will help subdue the pain and the symptoms for a while, but if you keep taking the birth control pills, you're just gonna keep getting UTI. So I don't know how much sense I made of that last little bit that I was talking about, the actual science behind it, so I'm gonna link the article down below, and I encourage you to go read it yourself. Okie dokie, so I hope that by me sharing my story and my struggles and my solution, I can help you because that's really what I want to do. I wanna help, I just wanna help you guys. And I think that knowing that there's a solution out there, that there is a cure, gives you that little piece of hope you need back. And coming from me, who I've been UTI free for two years now, I am so much happier, so much healthier, and just looking back, at, I was just in a really, really bad state. And I'm a lot better off now. Yeah, so I hope by me sharing my story, I can help you, okay? Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.